Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2013 Kia Soul. So here we have the Takacha T1 vehicle wiring harness and over here we have the Kurt vehicle wiring harness. Now both of our kits are going to give us a four pole flat to hook up to our trailer and give us all the required lights such as our turn signals, stop lights, and clearance lights. Now both of them are going to stay on the outside of the vehicle until we're ready to use them. Let's take a closer look at some of the differences. Now one of the biggest differences, although it may be small, is the dust covers. Our Kurt is going to have a removable and replaceable dust cover, whereas our Takancha is going to be built in. Now the way these are both going to be installed is we're going to have a T connector that's going to go in between our tail light and our wiring from our vehicle. Now one benefit that Kurt does have as far as installation goes is that the wires are going to be somewhat smaller at the connection points compared to the Takancha here. So it will be a little bit easier to get the wires in place behind our taillights. Now both our kits are going to have converter boxes so that we know that our trailer is going to get the right signal. Now one thing I like about the Takancha here is if you pay close attention to the end where the wires are going in is it has this epoxy material and that's a potting material so that the inside circuitry is going to be protected from vibration and any other kind of damage that may happen. Now our converter boxes are going to serve two purposes. They are going to send the right signal to our trailer, but also they're going to protect our vehicle's electrical system for any feedback or any problems that may arise on the trailer end. Now aside from making the connections at our T-connectors and our tail lights, we are going to need to run a power wire up to our battery. Because each one of our kits, our converter boxes, are powered separately, so we don't have to worry about putting any extra strain on our tail light circuits. Along with that, we are going to have to ground our system. Now both kits do come with a pre-installed ring terminal on our ground wire and it comes with all the necessary hardware and zip ties to get everything in place. Both of our kits do come with a fuse holder since our boxes are powered separately and they both come with a 10 amp fuse. Now to sum everything up, as far as ease of installation goes, I think I'm going to have to give it to the Kurt here purely because the wires are going to have a little bit more room to wiggle around and make our installation a little bit easier. Now as far as durability goes, I think the Takancha is going to take it because of the potting material and the more secured the box is with all the circuitry inside. Now as far as vehicle protection, both of these are going to be adequate and protect your vehicle from any problems and any feedback that happens on the trailer end. Now as far as power rating goes, both of our kits have a 10 amp fuse and they are powered separately. They are similar in power rating, but Kurt is slightly higher. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Kia Soul. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.